We'll start off today here with this simple blue sky. So I'll mix a little of our Prussian blue and white. And I'll simply and very quickly coat the top of this canvas. And we are gonna do a couple of clouds, but not too many today. All right, that looks good. We'll go slightly lighter toward the horizon. In fact, maybe I'll just, that looks pretty light. So maybe I'll just darken the top. I think that'll work. I'm using acrylics today. I'm gonna to be trying to work slightly quickly because of course our changing light and all that good stuff when you paint outside, right? There we go. And I've got my handy little squirt bottle today, which because we're outside, I'll probably use more than if we were inside. It's a little bit chilly, but not too bad. And I don't think the paints will be drying super quick. Next, we're gonna go ahead and place in our ocean area. I guess I have some blue and black here today, that's it. Actually, a little white's okay too. And let's see, I'm, I don't have my horizon taped off because I don't think I need to. Just not that much horizon showing. There is a little tiny, in fact, okay, so I gotta choose, do I wanna go, you know, above half? I think I'm gonna go above half, so I'm gonna go up like this. <laughs> my paint's already starting to set up, okay, well. There we are. And I'll make that as straight as possible. And that's probably good enough because most of it's gonna be covered. Anyway, very nice. And then get some lights going on in there. Good. So you just blend all that together real quick. Doesn't have to be crazy. Maybe get some blacks going. And I don't know if you're hearing all sorts of background noise. There's a lot of background noise, so hopefully that's not annoying. It just kind of goes along with the location, I guess. There, good enough. I like that. That's actually quick and easy. That didn't really do too much, but it's starting to kind of look like an ocean back there. Now, we've got a lot of buildings to place in, so let's go ahead and work on those next. I've got my little synthetic brush my flat one and actually let's start with our main subject so i got some red i'll tone it with umber black and let's see way over here ish i think right here would be good we'll just drop it right in and then this is just a quick underpainting the background is even wet i should probably wait till it dries but at least we'll get a little bit of it in. I might have to repaint it later. Now, just for, for fun, I'm gonna go ahead and sketch. Um, I've got, actually it comes down a little farther. Something like that. I've got some land areas, some rocks right here that I gotta paint in. I've got a gap where the boats go out and then I got some more rocks. So now I'm gonna go ahead and drop in the little white building behind. And it's actually a very similar shape, which actually makes it easy. So there's that one. And then there's kind of another building, which looks almost attached to it. And I don't know how many buildings we're gonna put, not too many. That's probably good. I'll just paint those in. So now I'm gonna go ahead and block in the roof of this house here. And I'm just doing this as quick as I can, kind of get this ready to go. We'll probably just get a little ways out here and then I'll take it into the studio and finish it properly where my fingers aren't cold and they actually function. <laughs> and I don't know, things are just a little easier there, aren't they? So, but I will get the overall color and the tone and as much detail as I can out here. And then I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll worry about the rest later. How's that? Now I'm gonna start to place in these little rocks. I'm gonna do it pretty quick and get the um, overall feel of them done. And then we'll detail them, and we'll take a lot more time when we do that. Probably not out here. <laughs> Just get the colors and the shapes going, right? And, and notice that it's a bit darker at the bottom, so I'm gonna throw some black in and sort of work it all together while everything's just a little wet still. I can blend my color for just that two seconds. That looks pretty good. I think that captures that color pretty well. I actually noticed there's a little bit of red in there. We'll do that. Get some of those rusty tones in there. I'll take some really good pictures before we go to make sure that we don't lose this scene. All right, let's just repeat that right over here and then get this one 
started. I like to do a lot of color changes, as you know. Stop and change the color so that it looks more interesting. Now, while I'm here on location, I would certainly love to actually paint in a boat. So I'm picking out a red one here because I think it'll go well with our little red building. And I guarantee I'm not going to get this right right at this minute. <laughs> in fact, the boat's moving away. But I'm just going to get a generic idea of the boat. And I will clean it up and make it look really quite a bit better later. So no worries. Now down here, I just sort of pull that down to create a basic, basic reflection idea. Good. And then maybe just a highlight to show where that boat kind of is facing the sun. The sun is coming from the right today, kind of from the front actually. And again, we'll take some really good pictures, which I'm sure we'll, you'll get to see. And that'll help us to finish this out properly. Nice. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that. I'm going to try to do these little white details that I see around it. These little lines. There. Good. That's kind of fun, actually. Kind of fun. Well, now we're back in our studio and we're going to pick up right where we left off and finish this painting. So I went ahead and squirted out my paints as I normally would. I think I don't have green up there. I might need to squirt it out later. Uh, I also have a couple of reference photos that we took before we left. And this is actually quite, it's like a week later now. So I kind of have to refresh my mind as to what I was even doing. Um, one thing that I noticed is that this spot, I don't know, I, I, I know I saw it. I don't see it in the pictures. Um, I think that I probably didn't need to add it and I don't really like it, so I'm gonna take it out. I've also got a little cup of our foundation medium sitting here. Okay, let's see. I'll be dipping into that quite a bit. Now, this will help brighten the sky up as well. Now this building back there, I'm gonna paint around because yeah, that, that actually is in there. So this is really cool. Now I, I remember we were talking about you know, this is like a really popular scene for artists. And while we were there, I actually saw another artist. I went over and chatted with him for a while. So that was a lot of fun. He's standing there in the wind doing the same thing. <laughs> Just trying to knock out a painting. It's actually really fun. Let's go ahead and add something here to the water before we get too far. Now, according to the photos that we took, these water ripples are very tight very small so I don't want to get them too big I mean I'm not trying to go you know we got the artistic uh, interpretation that we can do here but I'm not going to go crazy with that just yet I'd like to stay close to it until more until more toward the end and I think I think that'll just make it for a slightly more accurate painting but obviously I will depart from the photo as I almost always do when working from a photo or a sketch or anything else. And then kind of put my own spin on it a little, but at least let's just get some of this small, small ripple action because this is a very much a protected little bay. It's got, you know, I don't know if we, I don't know, <laughs> kind of hard to say what kind of shots we've got. I haven't looked at the shots yet, but hopefully you've seen kind of how it's protected, even though all we're seeing is kind of the front of it. Really cool though, really interesting. Great textures and contrast and all that sort of stuff going. In fact, I got another photo that I'd, I'm probably gonna do here in the very near future, probably bigger, maybe like an 18 by 24 or something like that. Um, and it's an even better angle than this. It's way over from the side and you can, amazing shadows. And we'll probably do that. But this one's fun because we actually got the colors and the composition here in person. So I went ahead and quickly reconfigured these buildings just a little. What I ended up doing is bringing the red one over just a small amount more. I think that just, well, number one, it's more accurate. And also I think it works better in painting. Two good reasons to do it, right? All right, so now, okay, that's dry. I've got my little micro filbert brush and I'm going to just start painting in the very 
dark shadows. And I think that'll start to help the painting come together. I actually need to redo my chimney up there. Yeah, that looks pretty fun. Good. Make that a little darker. Oh yeah. All right, so we'll just keep bouncing around. I know I want a nice dark line right underneath this roof here. So we'll get that in. And then every once in a while, we've got a couple of just horizontal boards. I'll indicate those very quickly just by pulling down with the brush. Or vertical boards, did I say horizontal? I didn't mean vertical. <laughs> yeah, there, I'm just finishing up a couple of details here on the house. I've just been adding, mostly just adding colors, darks and then colors. A couple of little details like the, you know, like the little windows. I kind of tackled those as well, but really just slowly working these little different bits of color. Good. And, and I think I'm liking the way that that's looking. Well, let's let it sit for a minute. These need a lot of work. I mean, it's just not finished looking, but let's go ahead and jump onto the boats. That's probably the next the next biggest thing. Now I can't find a photo, probably because I don't look that well, of this boat here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of make it up using photos, obviously. And I'm going to make it very nondescript. Okay. This is just not, just not that important might bring that up a little. Actually, let me do that really quick. Where's my brush? There it is. So watch this. You can just adjust things. That's one of the beauties of acrylics. You can really adjust things and move them around. I'm going to bring that quite a bit further up. I like that better. Mm. Very good. All right, so that gives us quite a bit of, of room to play. I like that. Of course, if we don't end up don't, not liking it, we can always just paint over it and put it somewhere else. But I think we can make it work. We get some just dots of color. Let's see, hopefully that'll indicate something. And let's indicate, maybe use a little bit of the foundation. Maybe we may need to get the uh, liner brush out, but. For now, I'm just using my little micro filbert. That <laughs> might not even be small enough. It's a small painting. But let's just try to run some, there we go, some lines like this that could potentially indicate, you know, just stuff. I'm not a big boat expert, but it could just indicate stuff. It's starting to look more boat-like to me. Actually, definitely is. That's uh, that's good. Maybe another seat there. Another seat there. I don't know. We'll just play around with it. Now we're going to go ahead and just drop in our our little bit of reflection. We don't need a whole lot. This is just a touch of red, very dry. There's really nothing but just red right in the brush and whatever mud happened to sneak in. And I'm just giving it a quick. Kind of a quick coat right where I think our, our reflection would be. Nothing crazy. For whatever reason, the wind or I don't know, there just isn't, isn't that much reflection in the water today. There, so you see I did the boat there. Let me wipe my brush out real good. I'll take just a little bit of a white and I'll go ahead and just reflect. Uh, let's see, it'd be right about here. Go ahead and reflect this building as well. All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out our website, DVDs, and Brushline. Thanks for watching.